All right, Space Explorers, between your lines. Three, two, one, go! They're off and moving, not running, but they are moving, heading towards their cargo ships. Hatch panels put in place, cargo put in place, waiting for the end of the storm. That happens. One robot has some pieces on the floor already, falling apart, but not completely. 7722, cargo in hand, does a little bit of a bounce off of their compadres and moves around 5834 who is trying to block access to both the cargo ship and the rocket 7558 trying to dance around them does the old distraction play and then heads towards the rocket nice move red alliance being hindered by the blue robot 7520 also trying to slow them down Aztecs, 29, 2994 and 7520 jousting at the end there. 7136 having some trouble right now. Thistletown Scott boss looks like they're having some trouble getting motion. There they go. They've got control back again. And now it's time to do some more scoring. And they do with a slam dunk of some cargo into the cargo ship. T. Mikey playing some effective defense over in the Red Alliance zone. But Red Alliance has figured out how to get around them so that they're scoring points even with their presence. 39-35 in favor of the Blue Alliance. 58-34 juggling one of the cargo pieces and they lost it, but they are able to pick it up as long as they can get their grips on it. Blue Alliance, 77-22. They've got a bouncing cargo piece. They decide to go for another one, taking it over the cargo ship. Here they go. Up, up, and in it goes. So we've got 20 seconds left. 2994 is already up on level three. And there goes 7558. They are up, up, and their footprint is pushed them in. 7722 up on level one as well. Winding down, that's the end of this match. It's a pretty close match right now, 68 to 64. All right, we're back over here on the science field. Let's get you a final score for that last match. Eyes up. The Blue Alliance took that, 68 to 64. Three ranking points for each of those teams, 755.